Hello everybody. I recently replaced a uh, engine harness and I did a video uh, not too long ago. Um, and here I have the old harness. This is how it looks like. You see all the covers are damaged. But today I'm going to show you inside here I'm gonna remove all these covers and I'm going to check the cables to see where is the damage on this harness so I'm going to remove these plastic covers uh, especially from here in these areas over there and in here just to inspect the wiring on this of this harness the engine harness cover is open it's all open as you can see um, I was inspecting the cables, I don't see no damage in this area. This is how they look like inside all the covers in here. Uh, in this case, this engine was having issues with the EGR valve. He was saying that the uh, EGR was not responding to the command. Uh, so. If there is no problems in this area, I'm going to follow the EGR cable, which is this one here. And here we can see the damage. You see, there is the damage on the wiring. It was rubbing on, I think, the engine block or the frame. I don't know. It was ruined somewhere. You see, it's a big damage. This is the reason why the EGR wasn't working the way it's supposed to. So this issue can happen in any area of the harness. In this case, we have it in the uh, in the EGR ball uh, wiring, but in the many cases, it happens in this area. Usually when you go to the dealer or different shops uh, for these kind of problems and you have the check engine light on, you already replace the sensor or whatever and uh, still you having issues with the check engine light. So you go and you tell the problem, they inspect everything and the f after that the first thing they do is to check the injector plugs, the injector harness plugs, which are these ones from the engine harness, they open them up and they say, oh, your injector harness is leaking oil to the engine harness. So you will need to replace the injector harness and the engine harness. So they made you spend uh, more money, they wanna make you spend on repair the injector harness and replace the harness uh, it's gonna be a lot of money um, in reality the oil doesn't do anything to the harness uh, i have seen engine harness full with oil covering up with oil they are completely uh, washed in oil and they still working with no problems uh, the real reason why the injector harness, I mean the engine harness goes bad, is because their uh, wiring starts shuffling to each other like this. Because the vibration of the engine is too great inside, in this area. Uh, eventually, the protective material wears apart and the uh, conductive material, which is inside this plastic, start rubbing to each other as we see in this area and it start causing problems like the ones uh, you can see in different occasions like for example you can have fuel uh, watering fuel circuit high uh, doser injection circuit high or EGR not responding many different causes causing for this engine harness because as I say they start rubbing to each other and this is the reason why it goes bad.
it is not the oil. Some technicians, some mechanics, they still believe that the oil is the reason why this harness goes bad. So there is one thing I want to tell them. Uh, the injector harness inside the engine is always full with oil. It's in direct contact with oil all the time, no matter what. Why it doesn't go bad? So there is no way then the injector harness inside the engine is still running with no problems. And the engine harness outside is having issues just because there is a little oil that doesn't make any sense. Uh, so, the reality is not the oil. I want to make clear that I know there are going to be some people, some technicians, some mechanics, they're going to be telling me then I am wrong, then I am saying something that I don't supposed to say because the oil is the reason why this is failing, the engine to harness, uh, the engine harness goes bad. Even as I, I see some videos saying that the oil is the reason why this goes bad but it is not true the real truth is because the injector harness starts shoving to each other and they were apart and then they start having uh, contact with the con conductive material and these problems start to happening so for example you go to a shop and you're having issues with the sensors or whatever and you want to replace the uh, inject the engine harness don't let them replace the injector harness because they wanna they wanna make you replace the injector harness because it is leaking oil yeah it is true it is leaking oil but it is not the cause of the engine harness going bad eventually your engine harness gonna go bad even if you put a new one is is uh it's gonna happen because the vibration of the engine is gonna start wearing this uh protective material apart so anyway i just wanted to tell you a little more about the engine harness on a dd15 dd13 dd16 because they're very similar uh, the material they use for this harness on the, of the protective the protective material for the wiring it is not the best but it works but the problem is is the vibration the vibration is really bad it's really high on the uh, engine harness because you know diesel engines they have a lot of vibration it's normal to have a lot of vibration in a diesel engine so i guess to fix this problem they have to do something different a uh, different type of harness that can resist more for uh, vibration or installing a different material different protective material on the wiring to resist the vibration more than it does for some reason you're having issues with your harness just replace the harness uh, replacing the harness can fix many different kind of problems many 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 different kind of problems uh, but in some cases you have to be sure that the engine harness is the problem um, in some cases you can have problems with sensors or you can have uh, problems with the different areas of the harness for example in this plug there is some wires, wiring that goes to a different area of the truck if you having issues in the wiring that goes from here to the cab to the truck uh, you have to inspect that okay so pretty much this is all I'm going to show you um, I know I'm going to receive different uh, opinions of people saying that I am grown or I am right or whatever I am just sharing my opinions with everybody you can do the same you can share your opinion you can comment below if you think I am wrong or you think I am right you can do it I have nothing against that but in my opinion right don't replace the uh, injector harness just because it's leaking oil if, it, if the injector harness is leaking excessive oil just replace it because that's not good but if it's leaking just a minimal amount of oil 
and it's making the uh, engine harness get wet with oil. That doesn't mean that the engine harness is bad. It just means it has oil on it. If you have any questions about the video, just comment below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Please like the video, share, subscribe and thank you for watching.